Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Reading. My name is Morty, and I'm super excited to have you have you guys here and to be showing up here and doing this reading today. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a little bit of a surprise reading. Uh, normally, I take Sundays off. Um, however, I just felt this burning desire to uh, to do a reading today. Um, you know, much of it because it's my way of being able to give back um, because of the gratitude that I feel in my life. Uh, this beautiful soul family that we've created or we're creating on this channel. Um, all the beautiful wishes uh, and the unconditional love that so many of you send to me and send to my family. Uh, and it's made such a, such a positive difference which helps me in life. Uh, so thank you. Um, Anyways, it's Sunday, and I just wanted to do this reading, and, and it's going to be a little bit of a, of a different reading. It'll be a love reading, but by different, um, I'm just going to talk for a little while here and just kind of share with, uh, with some of you part of my life experience. Um, so, you guys are probably wondering, are you a grandfather yet? I'm not, not yet. Um, my daughter went into the into the hospital on Friday, and they ran some tests on her. Her blood pressure was really high, um, so it was a little alarming to them. Um, and they th they thought they may um, they may check her in. Um, however, after they got the results back from the test, they decided to release her for the weekend. So uh, I think they're going to examine her again tomorrow. So more than likely this week. So it'll be a pretty exciting week for everybody. Um, anyways, I'm super excited. Uh, at the end of this video today, I'm, uh, I'm going to post some more pictures that I took yesterday uh, when I went up to Sundance. Um, it's just, yeah, I love the place, it's a beautiful resort, and you're surrounded by nature everywhere. There's just so much life up there, and it's amazing energy. So I'm like a nerd, I pull out my camera and I'm taking pictures at every angle of flowers up close. And, Anyways, uh, it's fun. It's fun. It makes me feel like a photographer for a few minutes. Um, yeah, so I was going to talk a little bit this morning about energy. Um, you know, energy is something, it's on my mind every day. Uh, part of my awakening experience that I've shared with some of you guys uh, has, has been heavily involved with energy and, and gaining a greater and more in-depth understanding of energy. And specifically how energy works um, anyways and it's been a beautiful journey and so what I want to talk about real quickly is I've shared some of this before and the understanding that I that I have of energy is at the end of the day all we are is energy all anything is is energy and there are energies outside of us, right? There's energy in everything we eat, we listen to, energy to our thoughts, um, obviously to our actions. Um, yeah, so, in a way, think of us as being a vessel. And it's a vessel that's either gonna be opened, right, or closed. So, being open as a vessel is a beautiful thing because when you've opened yourself up and you, you're able to keep yourself open, you open yourself up to connecting yourself with these amazing, beautiful energies of unconditional love um, that bring so much joy and happiness into your life, right? So what is the secret and the key of remaining open? In my, I don't claim to be a know-it-all. I'm just sharing with you guys part of my truth. I don't claim this to be the be-all truth of all times, uh, but some of you I think will relate with this. Um, so it creates, you're, you're able to connect yourself with this beautiful energy. So you think, how is it that I'm able to, how do I keep myself open? And what I've experienced so far in life, right, my understanding of, of remaining open is coming to a place where you're able to just let anger go. Every ounce of anger within you, um, all resentments, right? Um, past obligations, debts, whatever, any limiting energies, right, that are within you, that, that, that either towards you or towards other people, do yourself the favor and allow yourself to just 
release yourself from that. It doesn't mean they go away at all, but in many ways you're able to release yourself personally from it because you're tied to it. It's keeping you closed in many ways um, because inevitably, right, those, those limiting thoughts are, in your, are occupying your mind. It's gonna lower your vibration, right? We're talking about raising our vibration. Okay, so I just noticed yesterday, um, you know, I, I felt great, right, all throughout the day, but as, as, I, as I kind of worked into the evening, I, I noticed that there was a shift in my energy. Um, and, and even, you know, others, friends that I was with at the time, they noticed it too. And it wasn't anything that anybody did at all. It was something that was taking place within me. Um, and it's something that, that I struggle with, right, that closes me when it comes to feeling unconditional love and not holding any resentments. I, I'm okay in that arena. But when it comes to fear, that's a different animal. Um, you know, and, and yesterday I, I gained a greater understanding of that. And that's why I'm kind of sharing it today because I could feel my energy shift. Right, and I was trying to pinpoint exactly what it was that was that, that was taking place within me. Like, where was all this coming from? So last night I had a discussion with my guides, and uh, I was looking for intuition and understanding uh, prior to going to sleep. And when I woke up this morning, I have a, a little bit more, a great, a better understanding, right? And 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 it's fear, you know, fear within me. So my moon and rising are Taurus. Right, which in Taurus, we're earthbound. We're like we love to be grounded, secure, stable. We love to know what our tomorrows are going to be about, right? And that's my problem. Um, I, and I and I and I. So the understanding that I have is is if I can just condition myself to remain in the present, right in the here and now, right, doing everything that I can do today. And I can just remain there and I can accept that. It allows me to be present and to actually enjoy this rather than allowing my thoughts to leave the present and start thinking about my tomorrows, my next weeks, my next months, my next years. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, it was interesting to get that, to gain that understanding and, um, and to be able to personally feel and experience such a shift in my energy. I mean, there was even there's even some physical effects, right? My hands and feet were kind of sweaty and clammy, and my face was kind of sweaty. Uh, yeah, I just I kind of took on some heavy anxiety, uh, and that just does not serve me well because I know I've noticed a pattern. Um, first of all, you know, we all have challenges and know things that we're dealing with in life and I'm no different I'm not the exception right and I've had an interesting life right of it's been a journey um, and I've been on a, a, a journey and a quest for several years now um, you know and, and there's there are years where I kind of remove myself off the grid in life right and uh, because I needed to I needed to do that for me and anyways when we're adults we have responsibilities and such and yeah things Things get complicated and difficult, and pretty soon there's a little bit of a hole that's dug there. Uh, right? so, I, so I'm dealing with, with some holes in my life, right? And once I start thinking about one hole, when I remove myself from the present, I'm thinking about tomorrow, uh, pretty soon I'm thinking about the other holes. And what's, what happens with me is I start, it, it just kind of compiles, and I start feeling overwhelmed. It gets discouraging, right? It it, it, it it really affects my vibration in terms of lowering it, right? Because in many ways, um, well, I'm kind of classic in, in the world of tarot when it comes to the eight of swords of that being paralyzed by fear. Um, yeah, in many ways, I allow it to paralyze me. And, and what I mean by paralyzing me is, is sometimes I'll just check out. I'll check out mentally. Um, uh, I'll lose myself to a subject or a book or a program on television or, or something. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of my escape. So, anyways, I, I was um, communicating with my guides about it last night, trying to gain a better understanding of it, and I was even pulling a few cards on myself, which they were very enlightening. Um, but yeah, so the. Tra 
So the trick is, uh, you know, managing our energy and keeping ourselves open. And by open, it means, right? You have, you don't, you're not walking around with all these judgments within you, right? Judgments towards yourself or towards other people. Um, you're, you're not so heavily opinionated on things, right? Things don't have to be one way all the time. It's, it's a matter of being open, open to receiving, open to change, right? Because life experience is all about change. It's all about taking on new experiences and taking on new growth. So anyways, staying open, allowing yourself to connect with that energy of unconditional love. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, the effect is you start looking at relationships differently, right? Um, you start looking at life, the outdoors, nature. Um, your whole life experience is different. It has more meaning. Uh, because you're present, you're in the moment, and you're appreciating that moment. You're living that moment. So if you can just remove the anger and guilt, um, you know, hatred, resentment, any kind of ill feeling, right, towards any anybody else, just allow yourself to remove yourself from that. If, if some of it's connected to debts or obligations, it doesn't make the debts or obligations go away, but it makes them go away for you within you on the inside um, because they're, they're going to get paid when they get paid uh, and worrying about it isn't going to make any difference. It just causes you to close yourself and prevent yourself from living at a higher vibration. Okay. And I know a lot of that ramble is probably very simple stuff. Uh, simple information, it, it, you know, basics, but I believe in the basics. Uh, you know, I'm all about figuring out how to master the basics. Uh, so, anyways, I hope you guys found that, uh, I, hope, I hope it resonated with you that, you know, you were able to understand that, relate to that in some way. And who knows, maybe get a little bit enlightened and uh, receive some insight from that. So, my goal... I'm trying to create more joy and happiness, more love and abundance throughout the world, right? In each and every one of your lives. So, we're going to do a tarot reading today. First thing I want to do is, I remember the Crystal Healing Bowl, and it's Sunday, so we definitely have to play the bowl real quick. Um, I'm just going to let it sing to us for a moment, and then, uh, and then we'll start the reading here. usually pretty mindful of the sound of the volume level on the readings. I usually do some sound checks beforehand to make sure it's a good even exchange, but sometimes I'm a little bit off. Sometimes the mu music changes a little bit too. affirmation taking us into today's tarot love reading is sensuality the number 21 your freedom flowing from far away I dance I love I laugh I play your freedom flowing from far away I dance I love I laugh I play your freedom flowing from far away I dance I love I laugh I play okay I love this affirmation um, you know, it, what, what it makes me think of right out of the gate is uh, two of the cards in tarot come to mind. Uh, the Fool's card, right? The Fool's energy. 
at the beginning of the journey without fear and worry and concerns. And then the other energy is the sun, uh, which is living life with childlike enthusiasm. You know, I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. Okay, and now I'm gonna share a little bit more. This is just kind of funny. Uh, so I'm not a dancer at all, at all, at all. I mean, I can, I, I can dance, but I don't go out and do the club thing or anything like that. Never really have, right? No. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so when I was getting out of the shower this morning, right, I was playing my playlist, and it was, you know, I turned over to my guides, and they're just playing these beautiful tunes. And they, they put on this one song, and it's a real upbeat song. It's Starlight by Jay Wolf, or Jai Wolf. Um, anyways, it, you know, it gets me kind of ramped up, amped up and excited. And so as I was... You know, I put coconut oil on my on my skin and such uh, when I get out of the shower. And as I was putting the coconut oil on, you know, I was doing my little my little dance moves. I never do that, right? But it was fun. It was fun to do that for a few minutes, and I was the only one here, so it was safe. But anyway, it was kind of funny. Okay, so real quickly, well, not real quickly, because this is Sunday. We're just chilling and taking our time. No rush. This is all just bonus. This, is, this reads all about enjoyment, right? Just trying to create a beautiful Sunday for you. Sensuality. Mermaids are celebrated for their sensuality, their sovereignty, their beauty, and their freedom. They revel in their desirability, and we are going to work with them in this powerful, liberating spell. If this spell has chosen you, be reminded that it is safe to explore and celebrate your sensual self. Your sexuality is yours to celebrate, explore, share, and adore. The universe does not punish us for being who we are, yet many of us carry conditioned guilt from religions and families who have feared punishment for the enjoyment of their own sensual selves. The universe wants you to know that your sensuality is sacred and that allowing its power to be expressed is part of being alive. Your sexuality is part of your divine nature. There is no shame in desiring being desired and yet remaining sovereign. If you have chosen the spell, you may be aware that you have some issues around your sexuality. Many people feel guilt around sex. This is not anything new. Guilt and shame disconnect us from a great source of self-love, energy, power, and worth. This spell will assist you in expressing yourself sensually. Becoming freer and less concerned about judgment, you will be able to revel in sensual enjoyment without obligation, cost, loss of freedom, or guilt. Be free and happy in your sensual, sovereign self. Okay beautiful affirmation uh, and, and you know an affirmation is kind of perfectly suited to take us into today's tarot love reading okay so I'm doing today's tarot reading with my crystal vision tarot set by Jennifer Galasso great my AC just kicked on which is great because I get in here, I get the candles lit and such, and I get little drops of sweat here and there. So I love the AC. Okay, beautiful. So opening energy, taking us into today's Terra Love reading. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, by way of Zodiac, represents Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be sun, moon, or rising. Uh, queen, so we think of female energy, right? It doesn't have to be. Uh, queen of Pentacles is a, a beautiful energy, right? So what I'm feeling right away going into the reading is, is um, experience, right? The Queen of Pentacles is very experienced in life. Uh, she's not uh, youthful, right, and naive. Uh, lived life, experienced life. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like this 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 queen um, experienced some trials in life, right? Uh, life is never easy. Uh, but I, and I don't think it's been easy for this queen of Pentacles energy either. Um, but it has broken her, her or him. She's learned. She's grown. She's now able to take that wisdom that experience, that growth, that inner strength with her, which is a beautiful thing. Right? This is a secure, stable energy, kind of energy you can count on, kind of energy that's fantastic on the home front and also fantastic in business.
There we go. A uh, little bit of spillage. These cards are still pretty new, this set, right? So they're a little bit slippery. They get away from me every now and then. Okay, slid right out. We now have the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is a beautiful energy. Right? Definitely onto a love reading. Uh, Ten of Cups represents the energy of two energies coming together. Right? They're coming together in a beautiful union. It's a union of unconditional love and trust. For many of you, this is this union's romantic. Right? It doesn't have to be. Right? It could be friendship. It's a union of meaning and purpose. Powerful connection shared between these two. Uh, yeah, spiritually connected. And again, I'm, I'm feeling the energy of experience, right? So for many of you, I feel like these two energies represented here, right? Your experienced energies, um, you know, not, not young kids just starting off. So you may have been in relationships, even marriages, previous marriages prior to now, right? But coming together in union, you know, maybe even merging families. Okay, beautiful. We now have the Three of Pentacles. Uh, Three of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It represents the energy of two people working together. Right? Two people that are working together to create and to manifest. Right? They're manifesting these pentacles. The two people, they're not working together alone. Right? They're working with the help of the universe, represented by the bird flying between them. It has a seed in its beak, getting ready to release the seed. We're going to fall to the earth and drop on fertile soil. Hopefully manifest another pinnacle for these two. Right? So, definitely a reading about two people creating and manifesting together. And for many of you, what you're manifesting together is love. Right? It's, just, it's recognized in this Ten of Cups. Okay. Interesting. Showing up at the center of today's tarot reading, we have the Emperor card, which is uh, the card of Aries. Uh, beautiful card, powerful energy, right? It's the Emperor, somebody who people are counting on him, right? He needs somebody who needs to be trusted. So this is a trusted energy. This is the kind of energy that shows up. This is the kind of energy, honestly, that you can count on in life. As this emperor on this image, he stands sure-footed on top of this hill. He holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. He wears the horn of the ram, right, for power and strength. It's a pretty important energy in today's tarot reading. Um, right? So many of you may be in a relationship with, with an Aries, right? Or you may be an Aries or have it somewhere in your chart. to the Emperor we have the seven of Pentacles uh, so the seven, seven of Pentacles is a good energy if you look at the figure here in the card she's been working hard in the field right? working hard to manifest these seven of Pentacles and now that she's manifested them you can see she's sitting back taking rest leaning up against the tree she's thinking about what she's just manifested thinking about what she'd like to manifest next I say she because it's a, a female on the card but it's he or she manifesting this two of wands right showing up coming in next to the seven of pentacles so two of wands represents the energy of a courageous risk taker getting ready to embark on a great adventure his companion is the dragon representing speed and fire i really like the colors in this card right um action passion uh adventure <laughs> 
you know, this is, uh, yeah, it's definitely representing the energy of, of an adventure, right? And it could be an adventure being shared by these two in this Ten of Cups, right? And it could be an adventure for two people showing up as a Two of Wands. Interesting today. So many of them haven't necessarily flipped, but they've just slid out individually. Kind of just quiet and subtle. Interesting. Okay, coming in next, underneath the Ten of Cups, we have the Empress, which this is a beautiful energy. This, this is an energy representing balance. She has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land, right? I like this image of her, right? She just. She just stands with such beauty and grace and elegance, right? She's comfortable in her own skin, right? Comfortable in a way that she recognizes her value and her self-worth. And because she can feel that within her, she's able to offer this same beautiful energy and unconditional love to everybody and everything around her. It's all about rebirth and butterflies. Beautiful. It's coming in under the Ten of Cups, right? So what that's telling me early on is this is this is a beautiful love that's shared by these two people. Okay. All right. So coming in underneath the Three of Pentacles, we have another three, Three of Wands. So I, so I have to mention this because I, as I understand things, I think in, in the world of tarot, sometimes when you see the same numbers coming in one above the other, depending on the reading and what's happening in the reading, many times it can represent um, a twin flame connection. Right? So we have the three of pentacles coming in under the three of wands. Right? So for some of you, right, I feel like this connection between two of you right, may be a twin flame connection certainly soulmates. Three of Wands is a beautiful energy. If you look at the figure here on the card, she's getting ready to begin her journey. She's looking at the road ahead of her, right? The path that lies ahead. She sits on the side of this hill. She's contemplating, reflecting. She pulls out a crystal ball. She holds it up to the sun, right? She wants to see what does this journey look like for me. Two rays come piercing out of the, out of the crystal ball, representing journey for possibly two people, right? Beginning is, right? it's probably, it's, it's connected to this Two of Wands journey. It's just the continuation of it, showing up, manifesting the Three of Wands. So yeah, so I think, for, I think for some of you, you've actually come together and you've begun and started this journey together. of today's Terra Love reading coming in underneath the Emperor card. We have the Moon card. Uh, moon card is the card of Pisces. All right. can re represent a couple different things, right? It'll be different for each of us. Right? For some, this represents, uh, this can be a pretty courageous energy. This represents the energy of a willingness to face and embrace some of our deeper seated limitations, right? Limitations that are within all of us. We all identify with many of them in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes we came into this world with these limitations, things like inadequacy, right? fear of abandonment, codependency issues. Right? It can be a willingness to face and embrace those energies, which takes courage. It's the moon card because she's, you're operating in the moonlight. So you don't have the clarity and the, the brightness and the understanding that the sunshine provides. You're operating from the moonlight. So things can be a little bit, well, things may not be completely clear, completely understood. Um, you know, there may be a little bit of, of, of illusion there. That's attached to the emperor. And again, some of you may be in a relationship with a Pisces too.
drop that. The Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. The pages are messengers. This is news. It's cups, so it's associated to love, emotions, and feelings. There's a lot of emotion and feeling in this card. It's, she's up to her waist in water, water representing emotions and feelings. She's also standing underneath a full moon, so it's kind of magnify that. If you look at the figure here in the card, she's staring into this water lily that's illuminated in front of her. Has a message in it. It's a message of love. She's trying to read it, but she's unable to so far. Maybe a little bit too soon. That's coming in under the Seven of Pentacles, right? Which is the card of this is what I've manifested so far, and what am I manifesting next, right? So some of you may very well be manifesting this romantic love, this relationship. It's showing in the Page of Cups. represents the energy of Aquarius. Uh, it's a beautiful energy. Right? This is about the energy in this card. This is about balance, right? And what exactly is she balancing? It's represented by one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. This is about understanding your imperfections, right? Understanding that we're all imperfect and arriving at a place of understanding and peace with those imperfections, right? Which requires balance. It's balance of the yin and the yang, the masculine and feminine energies. The water representing our emotions, feelings, subconscious. Dry land representing our presence here on earth, our masculine self. Right, so it's the balance of both of these energies. She's pouring water, one cup on dry land, one cup in the water, right? Balanced with her manifestation as well. And standing underneath eight stars representing good luck and good fortune. So this is a beautiful energy about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. Certainly feeling the energy of you're going that direction. That's what this energy represents, right? And that's a beautiful energy to connect yourself to. And for some, you may, may be in a relationship with an, with an Aquarius, right? Or you may be an Aquarius. Okay, energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading is the Eight of Wands. Uh, beautiful energy. If you look at the figures here on the card, you see eight unicorns. They're charging down this hill, right? They're coming down, they're coming in quickly. So the energy in this, this tarot card it represents speed and movement, right? So, I don't know, I feel like what we've been reading about these energies here in this tarot reading, I feel like there's, for some of you, there's definitely gonna be some speed and movement that you may already be feeling, right? Attached to these energies of things happening kind of quickly, right? But good. Okay, guys, I'm done with this tarot reading. Uh, I need to take a moment, look at the cards, see where they're at in terms of relationship to each other, and I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share. Um, so I need to take just a few moments to do that. I'll come right back and share the whole reading with you start to finish. Um, so you can enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music, or uh, you can fast forward. Entirely up to you. So I have it. Instead of drinking coffee, I, I rarely drink coffee anymore. For some reason, I just don't crave it. Uh, and I normally don't drink with straws, but this is a green fruit drink, right? And to avoid having my teeth turn green during the reading, I just friend put a straw in here for me, so. But that's really good. I need to 
pretty healthy too. So I think I have it. Um, I love today's tarot reading, right? It's a beautiful Sunday reading. It really is. I hope I hope the messages that are shared here in this reading, I hope all of you are able to connect with them, right? And hear part of your truth and that you're able to hear your messages in today's reading. Opening affirmation, taking us into today's tarot reading is sensuality. Right? This is this represents the energy about being a kid again, right? This is about having fun in life. This is about living life in the present. Right? This is about living life without fear, worries, and concerns. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. And I'm happy to say that I did a little bit of dancing this morning, and that is just so random, because I never really do that, to, you know, to be able to share that, but that's just truth. Okay, opening energy taking us into today's tarot love reading is the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe for some of you, you may be in a relationship with somebody who has some earth in their chart, right? Maybe quite a bit of earth. Um, representing stability, security. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles, she's on the move. Uh, getting her ducks in a row, right? Um, very organized, very detailed, right? And doesn't miss a detail. Moving forward, making progress. Uh, considerable progress. Okay. Next energies in our tarot love reading today. And it's definitely a love reading. Right? So we have the Ten of Cups. Attached to the Ten of Cups, we have the energy of the Empress. Empress represents the energy of unconditional love. Right? Um, filling it all within her and being able to share and fill it and recognize it and experience it and share it with everybody else outside of her, right? It's connected to the energy that's shared by these two people, right? In the Ten of Cups. Um, I mean, I felt like this was a, a beautiful energy when I was holding the card by itself, right? But the tarot reading, it's confirming it with the Empress, right? This is two people that, that love each other unconditionally, without question, best friends, soulmates for some of you twin flames okay it's a great reading right now we have the three of pentacles and attached to three of pentacles we have the three of wands so clearly we see the energy of two people working together to create and manifest what are they doing they're creating and manifesting this journey to go on together right they're manifesting coming together it's beautiful Okay, so showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading, we have the Emperor card. Attached to the Emperor, we have the Moon card. Uh, so we have the card of Aries. Attached to Aries, we have Pisces. Right? So that may resonate with some of you by way of zodiac signs. This is about coming into your power, right? About recognizing your value and your worth. Uh, and attached to it is the Moon card, right? Which can represent the energy of maybe not quite having the kind of clarity and understanding uh, that you would, that, that some of you would like to have as it pertains to the, the energy of this emperor, right? In terms of, yeah, there's just, for some, there's just a, a little bit of, it gets, a, it can be a little bit hazy here uh, with this moon card attached to it. Um, Yeah, it's just important, right? If you recognize this emperor, this emperor energy, right? To be aware of that, right? Just to be aware of, of well, I think it may be easy for you to kind of do what we were talking about at the very beginning of today's reading, right? Of just allowing things to, to compile, right? And to get heavy and, and you know, sometimes that can cause our perspective to change, right? And sometimes it can cause things to not be quite as clear uh, to, to, it causes us to kind of disconnect ourselves, possibly from the truth, because we're um, struggling with this limiting energy.
but if this read is resonating for you, right, the energy of the emperor serves you very, very well, right, of coming into your power, recognizing your value and your worth, showing up. Okay, coming in next, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And attached to the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. So we see the energy, right, of mani working to manifest in the field. Now she's sitting back and she's thinking, what do I want to manifest next? And what's attached to this is she's saying, do I want to manifest love? You know, and many of you are manifesting this very thing, right? Showing up here is the Page of Cups. Resonating, energy's coming in, right? Bringing this kind of energy of love towards you. It's just up to us to be able to do our part and allow ourselves to connect to it. Okay. Next two energies. Beautiful. Two of Wands. And attached to the Two of Wands, we have the Star card. All right? So some of you may very well be in a relationship with an Aquarius, or you may be an Aquarius. Two of Wands is a courageous risk taker getting ready to embark on a great adventure. Right? Some of you may be going on this adventure with an Aquarius. Two of Wands, this is an adventure, right? For many of you, it represents an adventure for two. Right? For some, it may just be an adventure for one. Many, it's romantic. Others, it's friendship, right? It's more about the energy and the connection that's shared. It's fantastic. Yeah, but I have to say, because I'm feeling it, right? This Two of Wands attached to the star card, Right, for many of you, this courageous risk, this adventure you're about ready to embark on, right, taking you towards feeling the energy of, hey, I'm on the path of creating and manifesting my hopes and my dreams, right? So it's giving you that energy of, of letting you know you're on course. It's, it's fantastic. Okay. Energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading is the Eight of Wands, right, representing speed and movement. So for some of you, right, that, that recognize these energies, things may be happening pretty quickly, coming together beautifully. This is all about balance, remember that. It's also about remaining in the present, not getting ahead of ourselves, thinking about our tomorrows, next weeks and next months. This is about living in the present, enjoying the moment, and because at the end of the day, for our, each and every one of us, the present is really all we have present because things can change so quickly beyond our control okay I really like this reading today uh, I'm very happy that uh, that I came out and did a Sunday reading for you guys uh, great experience for me too because I get to I get to pull myself into these readings and experience these beautiful energies uh, and it's also great for me to be able to share I like I like sharing part of my life my personal life my family my children my, some of my own growth and experiences, um, some of my own journey in life. I don't know. I hope that many of you resonate uh, with a lot of the energies and the stories, the rambles that I share on this channel, certainly in today's reading. Okay. Again, I'm going to post some pictures at the end of today's reading that I took yesterday up at Sundance. Uh, just some beautiful pictures of the outdoors, right? Some of them may look like repeats, but... Anyways, okay guys, it's July the 21st, the time right now is 2.23, I didn't say that at the beginning of the reading. Uh, have a beautiful Sunday, right? Make it a fantastic rest of the day. And in some way, shape, or form, I hope by listening to this reading, that this helped you to experience more joy and happiness, more love and abundance in your day today. Raise your vibration. Thanks so much. Love you guys.